Alexandra Dolphine is her name. She is an incredible artist. I love this one. Can you guys see this one good? Oop. See how her hair is the beehive? Isn't that cool? I love art. Wouldn't it be amazing to be able to draw like that? Especially when you could look at photos like this and see things like that. Because when I first looked at it, I didn't realize that her hair was the hive. It took me a, a bit to see it. And her hair is tied up down to the tree. And if you've looked at this longer, you would probably see different things in this photo. But Alexand Alexandra, she's an amazing artist. And this is hers as well. She's amazing. The um, artist that did these ones, Lauren Inlow, she's really good too, but she doesn't have a whole lot on the internet. The sun is coming back out, but boy, this guy sure looks dark over there. Okay, I think that this might work. I want it to be a little bit bigger, and I could put it on and scan it and get it bigger, but... I think I can work with this. So I'm just going to cut her out. I thought I saw something hanging off. I try to keep the pencil mark. about those hairs. I'm just going to cut those right off. Mm. Dad, this is a really big one. Got a little wonky on her face right here, so I'm just gonna even it out. I'm gonna change the shape a little bit, and I don't like her chin being so pointy. So I'm gonna attempt to round this out without having any jagged lines on it. Got her nose. 
is pretty pointy. So I am going to attempt to round that out. some ink. Or some chalk ink, I should say. Put this on here to get those what look like pencil marks back in. is her head is flat. So I'm either going to have to put probably what I'll end up doing because since her body is flat down here, her head is flat up here, I'm probably going to have to put some lace or something or my text up there, which I'm not sure what I'm going to do because her head is flat on the top. And they probably purposely did that so that people weren't as likely to steal her art. Okay, you guys. So every piece of paper that I pull for her, I think that it's going to look good and then I lay her on it and it's like, oh, she just kind of gets lost in it. See how she just gets lost in that paper? So that's a no. I pulled a couple more that she just got lost in too. So then I pulled this one. And remember um, on the ATCs that I put her on, I don't think, do I, oh, I think maybe I do have a couple left, yeah. I put her on this paper and then I put the book page behind her because she just, she still kind of got lost in that printed paper. And she really looked good with the book pages that I, um, tinted with the ink, but I kind of wanted to change her up a little bit on this. So when I saw this paper without these flowers on it, I she looks good on, like right in there. Don't you think she looks pretty right in here? So I think she might look really good if I leave the paper you know to where she's see my tag ends here to where maybe she's on the edge over here so she would be about there so I would have to go over to here even more tag ins there. I think she would look really pretty. You guys see what I'm doing? I think she might look really pretty. See her braids. I don't want to cut her braids off. Like right there. There's all, there's not going to be any flowers on the side though, but there'll be this really pretty blue writing. So actually, I can go up. My card ends here. 
she would go about there. My card ends here. So there would be this little bit of flower down here. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna reach under here, take this whole card, flip it, So I can do a couple of different things here. I can leave this and um, score this a bit, hold this firmly and just score this here and score this here, holding my sides down. give myself a line up here. And then when I glue, this will be wrapped. I can actually wrap that around. So I think that I am gonna do that. And then with this, I can take my ruler, line it up, if my mat was under here, I could actually just cut it, but I don't want to cut my plexiglass. Now this is going to have a problem gluing, holding glue, so I'm just going to file this. So I just got the shiny off of it. And I'm going to get my bigger bottle of glue.
Now I'm going to cut my hole out before I fold that paper back over. Basically, don't cut it out now. I'm not going to be able to see it. And I don't know what happened to my good razor blade. Need something to cut this on. You could just cover this up and then use like a hole punch, but I like the shape of these peg holder things. I like to keep people guessing, what is this? How did she get that funny hole in there? Try not to cut your finger off. Yeah, because that might get bleed and bleed. Yeah, that would bleed and bleed. Because right now, can I be cut on this? Okay, so when we fold this, I want the other side to be my main, or I want it, you know what I'm saying. So this is just over two inches, like two and a quarter on each side. Do you guys like lose things like constantly? Like where's my pencil? Where could it have possibly gone? Well, here's another one. I don't know where that one went, but here's another one. So two and a quarter. And two and a quarter. Do it, Sarah. What's this? Five. Let's go two one. and a quarter. One take glassy out of my business. Two and a quarter. So I am going to draw. I can't see my first one. and a quarter. I can't see my second one. Two and a quarter. There to there. Why don't they look even? Two and a quarter, two and a quarter. Oh man, see what, why I don't like to measure you guys? It's like painful to me. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Okay, I see all my marks here now. Okay, it looks straight now. I don't know what I was doing before. I don't know. Just didn't look right.
Okay, girls, that's enough, please. Don't take any more crackers. This one is my same one. Listen to you smack on crackers. I'm going to cut my little to it or let it dry. Those are your options. So you could leave it like this. You certainly could. Where's my girl? There, she looks good. Put her this way a little. She still has a flat head. She looks good on there. Okay, so what are we gonna do about her flat head? Well, I'll have to show you what we're gonna do. We are going to glue her down. Let's get rid of this. Let's clip some of this off of here. Because I can make a desk unruly before you even blink your eye. It can become unruly. Like this one, Emma? Yeah, that's called blinking your eye. Can I try this one? This is shadow. Yeah, I had some of those. They're good. Mm. So we are going to put some glue down on the back of her. Like get all the edges. Edges are important. Her nose. And then just randomly get her in the middle spots. It doesn't have to be covered. But the edges are important. Can you guys still see me? Just yell at me if I go out of frame. Me? You know the audience. Those girls have been incredibly hyper today. And then I looked at my calendar and you know why? It's because tomorrow's a full moon. I truly believe that and you know why? Because I looked I worked in the ER long enough to know that the moon cycles do affect people. I wouldn't have ever thought that had I not worked in the ER. But it does. Things always got crazy. 
on moon on new moons or right you know right at the beginning of the new moon I don't want to go crazy with this, but I do want So I'm using my Teresa Collins molding paste that I got on clearance at Michael's for like 97 cents. Oh, I need my... You need to scoot. No, because we're going to eat dinner pretty soon. And if you guys keep snacking, you're not going to want to eat dinner. I used this molding paste once before and I honestly can't tell the difference between this and my heavyweight gesso. So, I really can't. This might be a little bit creamier. And this stinks. Like this really has an odor to it. This is like a cardboard um, stencil. So I don't know how many more uses I'm gonna get out of it and it's kind of warped because I've used it so much. So I would really like to find this design. And a plastic one. I think I'm gonna stop this stuff is really strong smelling so you don't get the cleanest lines with this stencil just because it's um 
cardboard and it doesn't have the cleanest lines after the first use. So I'm just going to try to clean some of this up off of my tag hole. I just cleaned my knife off. Now the wetness is distorting my image from the water. because it stinks so bad. Let me get this off of here. Wipe this off as best that I can. Okay, so what I've got in here are little flowers that I've made. I'm looking for my sharp scissors, which I don't see, so I'll just grab these ones. They're small, but they'll work. And while this molding paste is wet, to put these as a band. Up in the top of our head. I know that these flowers are really pretty, but we are going to have to band them. There's some different flowers. when wet.
bigger ones in the same color. Actually, here, let's fill this. There were two more. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat has been so dry. I'm running out a little, guys. Let's get a little bit of a different color. <coughs> I'm mumbling, you guys. I'm sorry. I catch myself now, though, at least. And that one. I'll scoot this one over. Okay. <coughs> so there, her head doesn't look... Her head doesn't look so flat anymore. And I don't really know what I'm going to do here. So now I just got to figure it out. Okay. Some of these flowers don't lay real, real flat, so you just got to give them a minute to... to stick. One more. Excuse me so much. Oh, I'm crazy about that. No, I'm crazy about that. Get in the frame, you crazy, crazy video person. That's the thing about creating these sketch, these sketches is um, they're so pretty to begin with, but I love to, to watch them come to life as I add things to them. It's just so satisfying. No, why? 
dry, but it is. It's just. So satisfying to me. I thought I just stuck my arm in the or my hand in the molding paste, but it was the stencil that was wet. It's like, wait a minute, there's no molding paste in there. I totally destroy my fingernails trying to get these flat back pearls off of here. They are stuck down. Man, I really buggered it up there. Stick one here. And one there. Make my flower here. testing the glue. Okay, let me find my knife because I am buggering this thing up. Try to smooth this stuff. Just a little. I don't care if it's... In fact, I like it to have some to it and not into the real smooth look a lot of peaks. Okay. And then let me see how many more of these I have. Well, there's a little bit of blue one. going down her braid. Sorry, I'm mumbling again. My mumbling, it doesn't just anger you guys. It angers my husband too. I do that. I'm a mumbler. Mumbler? I am. I do. I, I talk so softly sometimes that I annoy myself. There. Aw, oh, she's so pretty. Then maybe we'll put a pearl down here by her band. down. What would you guys do? Would you put pearls down her braid? Wish you could answer me. I see and then I get one off and it shoots at me. There. 
I gotta plug you in because my battery's getting low. Do you guys like re real time videos or do you like it when I speed through it? Let me know. I just think that I'm boring, so I don't wanna bore ya. Sometimes these projects in real time are kind of long. See, my glue got a little bit stiff there. Okay, let's put this flower away. I wouldn't care so much, but those flowers take some time to make. So there, what do you think? Does her head look better now? not so flat on the top. I'm going to stick it in there. There's the back. Got some molding paste there, so let's get that off. And I think I want to spray that molding paste before it really does get dry. So I am going to take this piece of paper that it looks like the girls threw away. I'm going to cover her up. I know that gets a little scary to do. I'm going to take some of this spray and I'm just going to kind of blend it down a little. Now this is still wet, so you need to, you know, do it kind of carefully, but you just don't want that stark line. time. I'm going to be really careful not to get this on her. Okay, so it's just kind of blended a bit down.
least that's what I got so far. So I need to go in and put some of the wispies back in her hair. So like here, she's got one. There, I need to connect that one, that one. She had quite a few that were coming out of her part here. You know, back here, it's not really going to make that big of a difference, but just to blend her in a bit back here, I'm just going to draw her some little ones. She had a few coming out back here. You can't really see it in this paper, so I'm not going to fuss too much over it. Just give her a couple. Just a little bit and carefully around her. She did have some little eyelashes. Really super fine. some of these out just to get those pencil marks in there because the lead is a bit shiny on the paper. I'll ink around it. We'll add a string You know, I could add some some color to her cheeks, but I really think I want to leave her black and white. Because I think it makes the blue really show up well. So I don't think I'm going to change the colors on her face. And then I want to put something um, sentiment on her. Okay, you guys. Um, so I forgot to turn the camera back on, but what I did is I went ahead and I added my sentiment here. It says, take heart and hope. I um, inked my edges with black, and then I went over and just kind of surface skimmed with my black ink. 
over my flour. So I just rubbed, or the um, molding paste up here, I just rubbed on top and then I rubbed the top of my flowers with the black. I rubbed her a little bit with some um, blue chalk ink and a little bit of black on, just on her body down here. I didn't do her face. And then a little bit of black on the paper here. And now I'm gonna take this till chalk and I'm just gonna give it a rub up here just to kind of push back that black. I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's still working. This ink is just about done. I'm gonna go on my flowers and that's just kind of to mute the brightness of stuff down. I'm actually going to get some of this black off of here. I'm going to lightly go on her face just to kind of blend it in with the rest of everything. Just so that it doesn't look so clean and, and bright. Just to kind of blend it in with everything else. I just kind of stamped it. Now I'm wiping it a little bit. That's all I'm going to do. Actually, here, let me go. Are you charging your old roll? No. This one. No, if it's not charged, it's not plugged into anything. Okay, so I think it's done. I just need to figure out what kind of a ribbon I want to put on there. Okay, so I just kind of want to keep it simple and So this is um, a piece of fabric from a wedding dress that I have, so, and I just ripped it up. So I think I'm gonna take that, and this is just a piece of really cheap um, sheer Stop ribbon that I got at the dollar store. So they're both white. I'm gonna fold it in half. Stick it through my hole. Now my molding paste isn't 100% dry. So I'm gonna be extra careful when handling this. I stick it through. Give it a tug. This cardboard is super thick, so I am not worried about it ripping. I'm gonna grab either end. Just give it a pull. Here's some more of that wedding dress. And I actually gonna make her another one. Wait, come on. Mommy, I wanna wear well. Cause I cannot. I make it your size for my wedding. Okay, come on. I prefer you tell me which size. Well, I don't need another wedding dress. I'm not ever getting married again. But I, when I get a guy, I'm going to find a guy. What, Grandma? Yeah, but you can make your wedding dress. But I don't. Uh, Pete, how many go shopping, Grandma? Mm -hmm. How many go shopping for my wedding dress? Yeah, because that shop I saw. Let me get a hell out of here. I think I'm going to, now that I got this on here, don't, don't take those off of there, okay? Yes, I'm going to get a hill off. Which one hill? Get off the deal. I'm going to push this through. I'm going to add to a dozy weezers. Yeah, I like you weezers. Therefore, my wedding and me going with, with my realistic bag. She had to get it for my Halloween. And it's going to be. Grandma, I do want to be a, a jackal for Halloween. And now I want to be and I take a cat. Out, and I take out my 
Fangs. I'm gonna get me a, a cat costume. Uh, yeah, a cheetah costume. And camp mom's gonna. Get, I just got my empire chest. Let's just have here white like camera because you actually not like it. So I so, that perfect for my costume. What costume? A costume at mom's. Oh, Grandma, you know my pink gown that what I always like to wear. And her going to be a princess cheetah. Okay, so I'm going to cut these off. And I think I'm done. Yay. Do crap. Can my dinner say it with you? My family reading. Like a family video. Actually, I think I'm going to give, cut these just a little bit shorter. Cut here. And here. Yeah, let's go on the stage, Emma. I'll turn all this up. Hey, guys. There it is. papers. I have an idea of who I want to send it to. And that's it. So save your backer boards. If you don't want to make things out of them, you can always send them to me. I'll recycle them up. And um, I hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, mm -hmm. evening, wherever and you are, are in the world. world. And, and God bless. And we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.